All right, guys, welcome back to part two of our Friday night feature on Overwatch Comp um, Season 4. How you doing? Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So, oh. I mean, we promised you a little hero talk, so here we go. Ryan, what have you been doing? Uh, uh, well, lately I've been doing some uh, Tracer and some Roadhog. A, a fat guy and a lesbian. That's <clears> wonderful. <throat> Great explanation. Yeah, yeah, those are my things. Those are your things? A cup of tea right there, but... Yeah, well, I've noticed um, by watching you know other YouTube channels and whatnot, the best solo queuing heroes uh, a Roadhog and Tracer if you can get a good handle on Tracer and I absolutely love playing Tracer because I like being the bane of my enemy's existence. I want them to hate me every chance I get. Um, and then surprised. just uh, Roadhog's impact on a one hook, you know, one instant kill mechanic is just, it's, it's so fun. It's just, it's that's my thing right now. Instant killing my asshole enemies that want to keep me from the objective. As a mercy main, so, you're the asshole. We're not the assholes. You're the asshole. <laughs> you are a mercy main. You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm not an asshole. You're an asshole. You're the one that insta kills oh. every fucking mercy out there. Yeah, I played a two heroes that can be absolutely annoying. Minus Genji, but I'm, I'm just not good enough for Genji. You're just not good enough to play Overwatch. But, well, I mean, I mean <laughs> kind of, I guess. Sort of. <laughs> Mostly. Well, <laughs> He's been mercy. He's been maining, uh, like he said, a uh, Roadhog and Tracer for a comp. I personally started out this season as a uh, pure Mercy main, um, just because I felt the need to. Um, I, I think I filled Lucio and Reinhardt a little bit, but I found myself. Oh, I played, yeah. <coughs> True. Sorry, go on. <laughs> well, with you, yeah. But at the end of the season, for me, I found myself dropping a lot of 76 in there in the mix as well. Um, it was interesting, my change in play style halfway through the season. I I mean, like, before I went Roadhog and Tracer, I was doing a lot of 76 and, um, you know, Roadhog, or no, Reinhardt as well as Lucio. Um, and I think it's just, like, the change in play style. I just wanted something different, and it definitely made me, uh, you know, switch to a more offensive in-your-face character and then one that just sits back and punishes you for being in a stupid area. Right. <clears throat> I hear you on that and I feel like Fine. for me like a lot of the reason that I think I'm still a mercy main is I don't know if it's so much the fact that I just like to win I feel like part of it's that I like to win so I want to make sure that the healing is getting done um, yeah but I know Lucio was such a dominant force as a healer for so long and Ana um, but I'm stubborn like it's not that I don't like metas it's just that I'm one of those people that meta players <laughs> hate because I'll find a way to make other characters work um, and I was like that in Pokemon when I played competitively too. I never really used the overused tier. Anyway, no, you wanna <laughs> you wanna make them sad for <laughs> yeah, uh, make it and letting you work. You know, pretty much letting right. whatever hero you're picking actually do what it's supposed to. I, I don't know. I just um, think Mercy was is a valuable tool. Like you gotta, like you gotta really know how to work her res though. If you're always looking for big reses. Please don't pick Mercy. From one Mercy main, I think from all Mercy mains to you, if you're just looking for that grand res every single time, don't pick Mercy. Please don't. <laughs> just don't. Oh, yeah. It's definitely... I actually could have won a comp game today if the Mercy wasn't waiting for that five-man res because she ended up just getting wiped out anyway. Yeah, she got punished. I believe it. My favorite right. is, like, canceling alts with a res, too. And that tiny little invulnerability. Oh, part yeah, yeah. <laughs> They did all this work, killed everyone, and then you just kind of screw them over. Yeah, it's right. fun. It's, great. it's, it's, it's always a game changer. Tilt everybody. And with um, with the new meta not being triple tank, it, it, you know, Ana is still an amazing hero to pick, but it's harder to uh, you know, be able to shoot people. You got a Genji right. shooting, you know, jumping everywhere, and you just can't. You can't. There's a lot of Pharahs nowadays as well. So I just it, Mercy's definitely just easier. She's easier to uh, not Especially screw up with. Especially for you console Mercy players who can't aim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like all every you, all of us. Right. So all you gotta do aim. is turn on toggle, <laughs> and then you just click it once, and <gasps> your link to heals or damage. It's really easy. Yeah. 
Never miss a heal again. Yeah, I, I wish I I wish I liked playing healer a little more. I just stopped. I stopped enjoying it. But I think They're that's like favorite. every Overwatch's mindset. <laughs> no, that's why it's a problem. Oh yeah, definitely. Everybody wants to be the uh, the knight in shining armor. Oh, everybody wants to be a Genji or Hanzo. <laughs> I want to be a Hanzo. I'm I'm awful, dude. I can I don't know what it is. I just cannot learn Genji at all. We got shurikens and a bow and arrow, and I, they're just you know facing <laughs> off against guns and actual viable military weapons and such. And everybody wants to pick like the freaking shurikens or the bow. What? Well, yeah, and it, it's weird that they're both brothers, and their you know skill ceiling is so high for them. But then right. you have one that you absolutely have to be good with, you know, aim and persistence and shit, which is Genji. And then you got a uh, you know Hanzo, which is very luck based, and sometimes you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll just be randomly shooting, and that some asshole just pops up in the wrong <laughs> spot, and you just happen to get a kill. His hitbox is like the size of a mountain, like for his arrows. It's like instead of having an arrowhead attached to the end of that shaft, it's got like, I don't know, like a E350 van <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like lately, because I used to be, you know, so good with just headshots and shit that it, it almost feels like he was nerfed, but I think it's just my, my aim has gotten awful. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it seems like I can't, you know, shoot people in the face when I blatantly should have but you know you just gotta work with whatever I can give you I guess move the on. real question is next comp season what are you looking forward to if there's no really big changes who are you thinking you're gonna play I don't know lately I've been dominating with Tracer so I'm definitely gonna keep if nothing really has changed um soldiers obviously if those changes go live I probably won't play them as much um, but I still will, obviously. He's, he's still going to be a good hero, but... I don't know. I, I always pick a hero I don't ever play as sometimes. Like, I always pick one, and then I go into comp with him. Like, this season it was Roadhog. Right. All of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden I'm having a whole bunch of fun with him, and I'm doing pretty well, so, you know. Who knows? Maybe I'll just go as Junkrat. <sighs> just be a Junkrat, man. I wouldn't blame you. I'm, I'm probably going to definitely <laughs> run Mercy in May next season, and I might pick up a DPS. Yeah, it's definitely, that'd be definitely good, but, but I don't know. You always want to pick at least one hero in a single area. You know, that's good. It doesn't matter if you pick a defense hero, though. No one uses them. <laughs> hey, now. Although, I've been seeing a lot more Widowmakers, like, all over. Dude, all the time. What happened? I don't know. It was, like, overnight, too. Like one day I just woke up and it was like the widow apocalypse <laughs> or something. I don't know. It was ridiculous, dude. Every single match I'm pretty much in. Actually, the one I'm currently in, there isn't one, but usually every single match there's one. Yeah, it's been crazy. I know a lot there's of like pros species. will sometimes like pick a widow, get a pick, and then like and switch. Then switch. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine, but it's just I personally don't care. Like I said, I want people to play whatever they want to play, but. Oh yeah, I don't even discourage it, but it's just, it's very weird, because yeah. she used to, nobody used to play her, you know, she was so hard. Well, we appreciate you guys dropping by, that's the end of part two, um, thanks for yep. filling for our comp talks, <laughs> hopefully we'll have some more coming out, uh, we really like doing these Friday night fun videos, um, so the more you guys watch them, the more it supports us so that we can do them. I know that a lot of work goes into making sure these go up. Ryan here gets a lot of footage around for us all the time and a lot of editing and behind the scenes stuff is done. So a like is graciously, graciously accepted, <laughs> greatly appreciated. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we really appreciate you wasting your life just to watch us and we will continue to waste your life if you let us. Oh yeah, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> you don't have to twice. Um, but thank you for watching. Leave a rating, comment below. Let us know what you're going to be playing next season if nothing really changes. And please scrub scrub. See you in the next video. Yeah.